Now that we've covered the building blocks of making decisions in C++, the relational and logical operators, we're ready to move on to the statement that actually allows us to make decisions in C++, the if statement. We're going to start with the simplest form of the if statement, and I'm going to show a diagram of it now. The if statement, or the simple if statement, consists of the keyword if followed by a relational expression. This can be a simple relational expression like name equals Mike, or it can be a complex relational expression that includes logical operators. After the relational expression will be an opening curly brace to signify a block, or the beginning of a block, and then inside the block will be the statements we want to execute if the relational expression is true. These statements are executed if and only if the relational expression is true. If the relational expression is false, then the statements are skipped. You can have one, two, or as many statements as you want inside the statement body. At the end of the statement body comes the closing curly brace to signify the end of a block. That is a simple if statement. Let's look at an example. We'll do a payroll example. So the first thing we're going to do is create a variable to store the number of hours worked. Then we're going to create two variables to store the rate of pay and the gross pay for a paycheck. Then we're going to prompt the user to enter values for these variables. So here's a prompt for hours worked. Here's a prompt for the rate. We'll say rate of pay just to make it a little clearer. Now we're ready to start the if statement. Actually, we're going to have two if statements. The first thing we're going to say is if hours worked is less than or equal to 40, then we're going to calculate gross pay as being hours worked times the rate. A very simple calculation. That covers the situation if hours worked is less than or equal to 40. However, if hours worked are greater than 40, then we need another calculation to include overtime pay. So here we're going to say if hours worked is greater than 40, come outside the relational expression, move down to the next line and begin the statement body. Then we say gross pay is equal to 40 times the rate to get what they're going to earn for 40 hours of work, plus the number of hours worked minus 40 times the standard rate times one and a half, assuming they get time and a half for overtime. Close the statement, and that's all we need for this particular if statement. Then we'll write out the result. All right, before we run this, let's go over the program one more time. So we have variables for the hours worked, the rate, and the gross pay. We prompt the user to enter the hours worked and the rate, and we're going to compute the gross pay from those two values. Our first if statement checks to see if hours worked is less than or equal to 40, or straight time. If that is true, then we compute gross pay as being hours worked times rate. The next if statement checks to see if hours worked is greater than 40. If that's true, then we compute gross pay as being 40 hours times the rate for straight time, plus hours worked beyond 40, or minus 40, times the rate times 1.5, or time and a half. Both if statements are checked, but only if the relational condition is true in one of them will the actual statement body be executed. Let's run the program now to see what happens. For the first one, we'll say the user works 39 hours, the rate of pay is $20 per hour, and we see their gross pay is $780. So in this particular case, what happened was, hours worked was 38, 38 is less than or equal to 40, so this statement was executed. The relational expression of the second if statement was then checked, but it was found false, so the program skipped down to the C out statement to display the result. Let's run the program again. This time, let's say the user worked 45 hours. The rate of pay is still $20 per hour, and there we see that their gross pay is $950. So this time, hours work was checked to see if it was less than or equal to 40. That was false since the hours worked was 45. So it skipped the first statement body for the first if 
went to the second if, compared hours worked greater than 40, found that true, so computed gross pay based on our overtime formula, and then displayed the gross pay. There's an easier way to write this particular program so that you don't have to use two if statements using something called an if else statement, and we'll cover that in the next video.